people welcome back to the card review and once again we are looking at another utopia card because utopia is too strong so once again utopia is just getting cards yet zexal is over so it's just like you know sometimes i do that you know stardust kind of got a couple of cards after they're done of course they'll still get some cards uh you know dark Nation gets cards so why not more utopia more zexal cards so uh we're gonna go ahead and look at Number S0, Hope Zexel today. So, I'm just going to call him Hope Zexel. I don't, I don't feel like saying number S0 all the damn time. But, uh, Hope Zexel here is a Light Warrior XC Effect Monster. Rank 0. Yes, you heard me. Rank 0. With, uh, question mark attack and question mark defense. So, still don't know what he does. How do you make him, though? Uh, it is three number XC monsters with the same rank. Okay. I, I seriously doubt that's the way you're gonna do it. You know, that'd be interesting if you did. You had like like three empty one on ones, and you just slap them all. You just put them all together and just bam, slap this on top. Go, ooh, can see that coming. So, despite being rank zero, this card's original rank is always treated as one. So, just in case any confusion, like they like to do some of these cards, where it's like, oh well, they have no level and they have no rank, and then like and like in small tech, it's like, hey, it's actually treated as one. You know, so or hey, it's always treated. Like, um, like, uh, Altamaya. So, yes, this, this is always treated as rank one, still. So, I seriously doubt you're gonna go ahead and take three number XC monsters with the same rank and, you know, slap them all on top of each other. But there's another way that you can actually make this. So, the other way you can make this is, you can also XC summon this card by discarding one rank up magic normal spell card and using a utopia monster you control as the XC material. XC materials attached to that monster also become XC materials on this card. So, uh, pretty much you have a utopia, you have a uh, rank up magic normal spell, so you're like, hmm, you know, should I rank up into maybe like V or victory? You know, should I pitch it for, you know, utopia dragon? Or I can go ahead and pitch it and then slap this on top of the utopia. So, you know, you have a lot of choices with Utopia. Obviously, if you're doing a Utopia deck, you should be running the rate open cards because, um, you know, back in the day when it was pretty much just like summon Utopia and equip them with all those exo weapons, but now you have access to a lot of different things, a lot of different various uh, rank up monsters just for running the rank up card, whether you activate it on the Utopia or you just, you know, slap it on top of the Utopia. Uh, there's just a lot of different things that you can do, so. Uh, definitely, definitely, uh, this is just another card in the Utopia toolbox. But, is it worth it? Is it worth to run? So, uh, for one thing, this card's exceedance cannot be negated. So, of course, this card, when you, uh, discard the rank up magic card, and, uh, just says discard, so, even if macro is on the field, you can just still discard it, it gets banished, but you can still discard it, and you slap it on Utopia, and that is an inherent summon, yes it is, it counts as an XC summon, so it is an inherent summon, therefore, uh, if it didn't say that this card's XC summon can't be negated, you could just go ahead and blackhorn your opponent, of course, but, uh, yeah, this XC summon cannot be negated, so, no. <laughs> also, when XC summon, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response, so, you can't negate it summon and you can't activate anything in response. So even when you're when your opponent XC summons and the XC summon has resolved and you get a response, you can't even be like, oh compulse, like nope, can't nope, can't touch it. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure that hope this is the hope that when he hits the field he gets the power. So of course it said question mark attack and question mark defense. So obviously he gains his attack and defense from his effect. So this card gains a thousand attack and defense for each XC material attached to it. So uh, let's go with the three number XC monsters with the same rank. You would have three thousand attack and three thousand defense. So that's not bad. That is nothing to scoff at. That's over the attack barrier. Uh, if you use uh, Utopia, assuming that you just went summon the level four, summon level four XC Utopia, discard the rank of magic card, slap this on top, that will also be. 3,000. So, still, 3,000 attack is nothing to scoff at. The power, I mean, I guess you could go ahead and uh, slap on a ray if you want to. So, you know, summon a 4, summon a 4, XC, Utopia, then slap on a ray, then rank it up. So, it'd be 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense, if that's what you choose. Like I said, we only have 15 cards in the extra deck, so use your toolbox wisely. But, 
uh, if that's what you want to go ahead and do in Utopia deck, you have that room, you want to go ahead and slap it on there, because now you pretty much have Ray for two things. Not only do you have it for this turn, additional 1,000 attack and defense, and then, of course, another detach on your effect, but then you also have it for Lightning as well. So, uh, you know, instead of only getting to use Lightning the effect to go up to 5,000 once, you can do it twice, because it would be the two Xe materials to make the Utopia, Utopia, and then Utopia, right? So he had four, it would have four Xe materials, and of course he had to detach two Xe materials to uh, jump up to 5,000 for Lightning. So, uh, you know, if you're running a Utopia deck, you got room in the extra deck, then, you know, there's nothing to scoff at if you want to go ahead and just throw him in, because he'll assist you not in his, through his own effect, but he'll assist you through others, like Lightning in this. So, uh, let's find out what this monster's detach effect is. So, once per turn, during your opponent's turn, you can detach one XC material from this card. Your opponent cannot activate card effects, card or effects for the rest of the turn. This is a quick effect. That is power. It pretty much just says, hey, for this turn, you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. No, we got, we got things banned, like, uh, you know, like Yadagaratsu and uh, uh, Time Seal, because, you know, your opponent can't draw on this thing. Oh, that's powerful. You, your opponent can't draw? This is kind of like the opposite. Your opponent can still draw, but as soon as your opponent's turn, you know, you just be like, during your draw phase, I'm going to detach an XC material, and you can't play card effects for the rest of the turn. I really hope that you have, like, a breakthrough skill, you know, in the graveyard, because, phew, yeah, uh, yeah, that's just power. Of course, they can train to the activation effect, so, you know, if your opponent goes to effect, detach your response, you go, all right, breakthrough skill, or Phoenix Chain or something. Hope you got it. Because if you don't, you're not doing anything this turn, and you're still going to be staring down, you know, at least uh, 2,000, 3,000 beater, and you can't play anything. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects. Any cards or effects. You know, anything. You want to activate that Regeki and Gary list? Nope. Can't activate it. You want to go ahead and activate the effect of your field spell that you already have in the field? Nope. Can't activate it. You know, it's just... You can't play for this turn, the power, you know? It's going to at least take probably two turns, I'm assuming. Because on its first on its first attach, it'll be... It'll go from 3,000 down to 2,000. And that still is probably a little bit too powerful to beat without activating the card or effect. And then after that, if it does the effect again, it'll drop down to 1,000. And at 1,000, you should be able to normal summon. Because you can still summon things. You still should be able to go ahead and normal summon and run this card over before it just goes. Because if you can't kill it again, then it'll get you one more time. It'll drop down to zero attack and defense, but they can simply just turn this to defense mode. They've literally locked you down for, you know, uh, you know, one to three turns. Pretty powerful. It really is. It really is powerful. Uh, but of course, uh, like I said, uh, it's not so, this isn't really something that you can chain to because uh, this pretty much has to resolve first. So. Let's say, for example, you want to go ahead and wait and see what your opponent does, and your opponent's like, summon a level 4. And you're like, okay, summon a level 4. Okay, XC into uh, 101. You're like, oh, that's fine. And then you're like, 101 effect. Detach two XC materials, target your uh, your Hope's Excel. And you're like, oh, chain effect. You can't activate card or effect for the rest of the turn. Like, um, yeah, 101 already activated. So, yeah, you're going to get smashed up. It's actually in a uh, dual with uh, me and Omega Chaos from our opponent summoned this. Omega Chaos made a big guy, he used big guy effect, he chained uh, Hope, and we still got uh, the Hope. So, uh, yeah. So there's one last thing that I want to talk about, and it has to do with Death Pro. You guys might know this, it's, it's been going on in Death Pro, and hopefully, you know, they will fix it soon if they haven't fixed it already by the time you guys watch this video. But uh, it seems like Death Pro, they are not the best at programming cards, you know. I believe, uh, I can't remember who said that they talked to one of, like, the people on Death Pro. That I want to say it was Stanzi, but he pretty much said that he, um, if it was not Stanzi, then I apologize. Maybe it was Stu, I don't remember. But he pretty much said that they talked to one of the workers for Death Pro, and they pretty much said that they just slap the cards in, and they don't really test or tweak them. They just allow the player base to test them. So they're pretty much their test dummies, and this is... One of the broken cards, and probably one of the worst broken cards, because it's just not used properly. So, of course, you can uh, put this on a uh, Utopia monster by discarding a rank up 
a magic normal spell card, yes? On Deb Pro, you can just put it on Utopia Monster without discarding that rank up magic spell card. Yeah. So, and Omega Cast is dual, like I already said. Uh, we dueled in Omega Cast and a big eyeing our opponent's monster. He went into Utopia. You know, summer level 4, summer level 4, Utopia. That's fine. Then he went ahead and slapped Ray on. That's fine. Then he slapped Lightning on. Oh crap, you know, Lightning's pretty good. It's Lightning. Oh shit. Slap Lightning on. Okay. Then, all of a sudden, he slapped this on. So, not, 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 but, A. He didn't discard a rank up magic normal spell card to do it. And, B. Lightning can't be used as an XP material, so they don't want you to go, alright, well, Lightning's a Utopia monster, so, uh, Lightning, 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 you know, they don't want you to do that. So, you cannot use Lightning as an XP material. So, it pretty much broke two rules, and next thing you know, we're facing down a 5,000 Hope Zexel, who wasn't even summoned properly. You know? And it, it, it wasn't summoned properly, it was 5,000, it, it could use its effect in everything, and... You know, I've been hearing that there's been a lot of complaints on uh, on the Dev Pro forums and in the message board and the chat room about this. But yeah, uh, Dev Pro, if someone from Dev Pro is watching this video, which I highly doubt, you need to fix that because th this card is way too powerful for you not to be uh, using it correctly. If you want to go ahead and run Rank Up Magic cards in your Utopia deck, you want to go ahead and discard Rank Up Magic uh, and go ahead and... Uh, turn your Utopia into this, then hey, more power to you, you know, I'm not even trying in Roll Dicks, you know, I, I can run Utopia, I run the Rink Up Magic card, so yeah, I could probably go ahead and do this, but, you know, when you don't even summon properly, when you can literally just go into this just by slapping on top of Utopia like Lightning, that's when it's a problem, and this card's a little bit powerful, it's too powerful for you not to be summoning it correctly. So, uh, yeah, so if you guys want to go ahead and test that out on Dev Pro, as I said, I'm not sure if it's fixed as of this video or by the time you're watching it, but it was a problem, and it may still be a problem at this point. But uh, if you guys want to go ahead and test it, go on Dev Pro, make Utopia, slap this in the extra deck, and then see if it will allow you to go ahead and put this on top of Utopia, more power to you. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So, um, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.